Let's practice a limit problem involving conjugates. Whenever you see the radical sign and you have two terms, most likely it's a conjugate question. You can try plugging in zero, but quickly we see that we're dividing by zero and we have a problem. So before saying no limit, let's try a trick under our sleeve here. We're gonna copy the, the first part. Instead of minus, we're gonna go plus one. That's what conjugate is about. It's about flipping the, uh, the sign. So as a fair Texas judge, we can multiply top and bottom by the same thing and not change the actual expression. So this is fair. And let's practice multiplying this out. So first time first, this is now just distribution. This times this is going to be the inside, which is 1 plus x. And then this is difference of squares. You can just multiply this times this. It's going to be negative 1. And so the bottom, don't get overzealous and expand, just leave it alone. And as you can see, the positive one, the negative one, they cancel. And so do the x's. We have x and x here, they also cancel. And, and we leave multiplied by one up here, all by itself. So now let's plug in zero, substitution. The answer is gonna be one over square root of one plus zero plus one and this happens to be square root of one, which is one. One over one plus one would be one half. So the limit actually does exist.